Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball 8 box jumbo pick your team 14 from jazbeescasebreaks.com all card ship and a big thank you to this group for making it happen. There it is on a Wednesday in the second pick your team 14 Cody Webb Last spot mojo with the ATL. Good luck. That's why you have the star next to your name. <laughs> if you keep track of things, according to the Jaspies Advanced Stats Department, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. That's what they say. That's what people say. I guess that's what people say. That's true. It works. It mm -hmm. does work. It does work. Yeah, you must have just missed what I said, Cody. The star next to your name means last spot mojo. You bought that team last. It's kind of a good thing because according to Jaspie's stats and for the, the Jaspie stats and info department, last spot mojo, 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. According to our, uh, yeah. You should see how much of the Jaspie's business budget goes to that stats and info department. I think 70% of the business budget goes to, uh, goes to 100% of the stats and info department. Oh, my Dodgers up 8-1 on the A's, as they should be against a team like that. Top of the fifth. They're uh, doing pretty, pretty well. Is it? Nick, you tell me. What does it say on jazbeescasebreaks.com? Mike earlier was saying that he, he sold it out. Does it say sold out on the website? Next box, or first box, not next box. First box. And there's the auto, it's JJ Blade. I'm watching him right now. No, I'm not watching him right now. Where is he? He's with the A's now, but the card is for Michael and the Miami Marlins. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break as well. You know what, the guys on the, literally on that other side of the wall is the new Fanatics Live studio. You know what they pulled earlier today out of Finest Baseball? Oh, Super Fractor, Corbin Carroll autograph. Not too shabby. That Corbin Carroll will go to Jose and the Diamondbacks. We got a Cody Clements, Rogers kid to 391 of his two or three kids that are in the majors right now or at least in at least in some sort of system and we got another autograph that is Ryan Creedler 131 out of 250 remember Jumbo has three autos a box friendly reminder <clears throat> unless it's an above average box three, three autos per box on average above average there could be an extra auto here Steve Locke, what's going on? It's good to see you too. Good to see you and Brittany at the National. Nice to hang out. Various points throughout the week. Museum visit was awesome. <clears throat> Museum visit was nice. Oh, JJ Bleday just flew out. Uh, but that place is gigantic. The Art Institute of Chicago is gigantic. I think I spent 
five hours there, and I still feel like I've I rushed through the whole place. But it was delightful. There's like a nice little fountain in the middle of the place. Weather was pretty good. Sat outside for lunch. There's Michael Stavonic. Bought some souvenirs for myself from the museum shop, which allegedly helps the museum keep running. So I did my part there. So Michael Stavonic for the Angels. That'll be for Chris Butler. All right, another good reason to go to, to go back to Chicago, which, which I might do at some point. Here's an Orange Wave Nick Lodolo. 25 out of 25. I guess the National will be there in a couple years. Next summer, I think, is slated for uh, Cleveland, This Is For You. And then the year after that will be, there's Cleveland right there. The year after that will be Chicago again. And I think, I don't know where after that. <clears throat> there was like a vote, I think. I don't know when that vote is. I don't know when it's happening, if they've announced it yet. Who knows? That's for Jose and the Diamondbacks. Some good research there, Carl. Um, how were your travels back, Steve? Were they... How's that? No, no results for 2026 either. I hope Chicago. It's just pretty convenient. Easy to, just easy for, for getting into town, for, especially for, very easy to get into town. Convention center is in Rosemont, close to the airport. Good public transportation. I took the, uh, took the blue line on the L train to downtown Chicago, which was nice. It only took about less than an hour, probably. I think it would have been the same time, frankly, with traffic and everything, same time it would have took me if I took a car. Ah, luggage delay. I managed to, my, plan, my flight out of town was delayed, Steve, but uh, my luggage was on time. Um, the, uh, the, the uh, the Nick the Nick and his and his pop left the night before on the same Chicago to LA flight the nightly flight that they have there and they said their bags actually got got sent on an earlier flight I guess they got to the airport a little on the earlier side but their their baggage got sent on an earlier flight to LA and by the time they landed their luggage was just just collected in the baggage carousel area behind a couple employees and some rope. Here's Lenin Sosa. Kaiser Sosa? That's Kaiser Sosa. Uh, Steven with the White Sox. And there's Masataka Yoshida. Is the soccer break recorded? Of course. We record everything on YouTube. It's currently processing up to HD. 28 minutes left, apparently. That's according to YouTube. Yoshida goes to Terrence and the Red Sox. Nice prism parallel there. And more for Terrence. Rafael Devers. 196 out of 250, purple chrome. How many Acuna so far? Zero? Unless I missed some, but all card shit. Tops is doing that, uh, Tops is doing that, um, whatchamacallit, that MVP buyback thing again this year, or next year. And Ronald Coon Jr. is the favorite for the NL MVP thus far. 
Here is Cody Thomas, 439 out of 499, rookie autograph, rookie refractor auto for the A's, Adam Kupperman with the Athletics. Zero Cunhas. Yeah. Uh, rounding up from zero. Rounding up from negative one Acunas to zero Acunas. This is just box one, though. Box, no, it's just box three, though. There's Will Benson. Cleveland, this is for you. Ryan Boone with the Guardians. Oh, did you see one? All right. Well, then there's at least one. Uh, Jordan Alvarez to 99. Chancing the yes, we know it's we know what's going on for the next two years, Jan. But we're talking about 2026. Next year is Cleveland. The year after that is Chicago again, and then what's 2026? Got a nice relic here for the O's, Cedric Mullins. With the authentication sticker right there. I would love to get that hit parade done tonight, Chad. We still have a ways to go in this one. Another 40, 50 minutes to go. But I, someone's saying the soccer sold out, so that's probably after this. And then seeing some hit parade would be nice, and that might bring us to the end of the evening. Out of 25, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Orange Speckle. And I think that's a, that's a variation too. Nice. Number on the back, 173. I think the commons are, are uh, 121, or the base set is 121. And then they have some parallels. All right, another box. Yeah, the National is kind of like Vegas. Always exciting to always excited to go. And then but then you're you end up glad to be back home. Yeah, and you do end up a little poorer as well. The pockets, the wallet is a little lighter. And it's just, I don't know. <clears throat> it's a little exhausting too, especially with, especially with how hot it was at inside the convention center this year. You feel a little drained by the end of the day. And then there's evening activities. And then you try to get up as early as you can because you're like, at least in Vegas you can sleep in a little bit. You know, it was a work trip for me, so I had to get up a little bit on the earlier side. After evening time, trade nights and nightcaps and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's kind of nice to put your head down in your own bed at some point. <laughs> All right, we got your potential AL MVP right here, Shoyo Tani. 125. And we got Max Myers to 125 for the fish. That will be for Michael in Miami. Yeah, maybe next year, Steve, we should sell we should sell comfortable shoes right at the entrance. One time you went to Vegas, you came back with thirteen dollars. Jan says, "How much? How much did you take?" 
If you only took twenty dollars, that's that's not that's not bad. Wow, rollerblades at the national? Would they even allow that? Here is Josh Lester. Rookie auto for the Tigers, that'll be for Larry. I feel like there'd be a lot of, uh, I feel like there'd be a lot of accidents if there were rollerblades there. Ooh, nice Corbin Carroll photo negative for Jose and the Diamondbacks. Oh, Jan's thinking maybe sell some Dr. Scholl's out front. Yeah, maybe that might be easier than carrying hundreds of shoes in different sizes. And we've got another Tiger, Cody Clements. 175 out of 199. That will be for Larry. Well, a cat team mojo. I feel like my feet still hurt after a long day of rollerblading. Maybe a little, uh, maybe those little, little razor scooters. There's Kyle Stowers for the O's. That's going to be for Sean Maddock. I saw I saw some kids at the airport, like a five five year old or something like that, but still a kid with like a little mini kid scooter, right around the concourses of O'Hare. I was like, man, that that sound, that looks like fun. You were wiped out. Uh, yeah, I was. I went so I went downtown Saturday night with with full intentions of getting an early night of sleep. Did not happen. The, the, there were some uh, some characters at the hotel bar, and then like half a block away, there was like a an old sports bar called some people from Chicago may know Miller's. Is that famous or not? It, the the marquee in front of their building said that they were uh, that they were they've been open since 1935. So I had to go there too. Yeah, no, not a big party. <laughs> just just overserved. But I came back. Somehow, uh, in bedtime clothes, all credit cards, phone, intact, <laughs> um, and my, my kidneys, and, and still there. I didn't wake up in a bathtub full of ice with one less kidney and a phone next to me. That's where the party is. Now there were there were a lot of uh, at the place where I was staying. There was a lot of um, like bachelorette parties and wedding parties, and I guess there were like multiple concerts in town. So there were people like so there. It was actually quite busy. Apparently there was a Ed Sheeran concert there. So. There's that. There's Oscar Cola, 76 out of 199. So lots of things were going on. We got Stephen Carney with the White Sox with Aqua Wave Colas. 
There's a Refractor Otani. You might get a little more for this than that MVP buyback promo. Participating locations only. We got a Josh Young, rookie prism parallel. You might get some Roy votes as well. There's a Oscar Colas, Aqua Lava to 199. Where's your Dodger mojo? Where is your Dodgers mojo? I don't know. We're not even close to being done with the break yet, Dano. Play to the whistle, as my coach always said. That's good advice for everybody as well. There is Elia Hernandez, rookie auto for the Rangers. Ed P with Texas. Oh, you guys are Ed to Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, popular. Popular. I feel like Ed Sheeran has a pretty broad demographic because like I saw, well the, the girls I ran into at the, at the pub, they were like, I don't know, they couldn't have been, they were moms though. I think, I think they all had kids, but they couldn't have been older than, you know, early thirties or something like that. Here's a Francisco Alvarez refractor. That's a homer for Jason Hayward, nice. But um, but yeah, so there was, there was that demographic. And then there were like obviously couples going to see Ed, Ed Sheeran. And then I saw like, um, like kids like who were like 10 or 11 years old and like Ed Sheeran like tour hoodies and stuff like that. So I guess he appeals to, I, I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't really dug into his music too much, but. Ooh, nice Adley Rushman, 62 out of 150. Blue Ray Wave autograph. That is for Sean Maddock and the Orioles. Okay, I haven't dug deep into his catalog, but apparently a lot of people like him. Here's Marcus Stroman to 299. It's got a hip issue. That hip? I don't know which hip. Really? Is his surprise guest on tour been Eminem, John Mayer? Maybe that's why, hence the broad appeal. I have a, um, I have I, in my guitar collection a, uh, one of those mini guitars that Ed Sheeran, you, some of you on the stream may have seen me bring that around here, a little mini guitar, and uh, And like I was playing it somewhere, maybe here on the stream or maybe at a friend's house or something like that. And someone was like, what are you, Ed Sheer? I was like, what? And I was like, he's like, he uses to play his little guitar. And I was like, oh, I, I got it because it looked convenient, easy to carry around. He has to sing a Prince song, right? You gotta, gotta please that crowd. Maybe. What, what do you? What what song would you want to hear? 
Purple Rain, I think, would be a good one. That would bring down the house. Maybe Little Red Corvette. That's a fun one. Maybe Kiss. You know, maybe he wants maybe he wants people smooching in the in, in the crowds. Maybe, or at least, what would he say? Maybe he he would want a bit of snogging happening in the uh, in the crowd. Maybe kiss would be a good one. Should I sing some original songs, Carl? Breaker rain, breaker rain, breaker rain. There's Tim Anderson. I only want to see you dancing in the breaker rain. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. prism parallel for Cody Webb. Your odds on favor for NL and MVP, most valuable player. And Topps is bringing back their MVP uh, buyback program. So that's fun. Participating locations. <laughs> yeah, Acuna Matata. Wow. Acuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. It means no worries for the rest of the It's all problem free. Breaking philosophy, Acuna Matata. Acuna Matata. And we got Bryce Johnson. Gigantes, Eric M with the Giants. Uh, take me down to Breaker Dice City. Where the grass is green and the hits are pretty. There's Jordan Walker, rookie prism for the Cardinals. That'll be for Shen Dowd. Tyler Stevenson. 394 out of 399 for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Ryan Harold and the Reds. And we got Yusniel Diaz, 380 out of 499. He was a Dodger prospect, right? Sean Maddox. The Orioles, maybe that, maybe from the Machado deal, perhaps, 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 perhaps. Nelson Velasquez, rookie autograph for Spencer and the Cubs. Red Hot Chili Peppers breaking the cards? I don't know. I don't know that song. What about breaking the law? Breaking the cards, breaking the cards. Here's a Michael Harris refractor for Cody Webb in the Braves. Breaking the cards, breaking the cards. And a Corbin Carroll and a Jordan Walker refractor. Jordan Walker is for the Cardinals, Shen Dowd. And the Corbin Carroll Prism is for Jose and the Diamondbacks. Now, never heard of Breaking the Girl. But I'm sure it sounds like all Red Hot Chili Pepper songs, which is Anthony Kiedis being like, Manu, 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 And then the chorus will be something more lyrical. Manu, 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 manu. 
and then it's Manama Nuba Nama Nuba Nimi. Manama Nuba Nama Nuba Nuba. Every Red Hot Chili Pepper song ever. That's what AI is going to do with Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's just that formula. I've just AI'd it for you. That's Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thanks, Dano. And then just like some some sick slap bass from Flea. That's exactly it, Rex. Some insane bass line. It's pretty much it. That's Red Hot Chili Peppers right there. Ooh, we got some red. We got some Avicel Garcia. Two out of five. Out of five and under. Get the train whistle. Who has the Miami Marlins? Michael Stapleton with the Miami Marlins. Two out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Maybe Super Fractor? Are we warming up to a Super here? Who do you think is a better bass player, Flea or Les Claypool? I don't know what who who Les Claypool is. So I say Flea. Less I know Les Paul. Les Paul's pretty good. We got Brian Bale, 89 out of 150. Ah, Primus. I, I, I could, I probably have listened to maybe two minutes of Primus in my entire life. But Chris Butler says, let's play pool. That is for the Red Sox, Terrence with the Red Sox. And there he is again. This time, Aqua Lava, 120 out of 199. And there's Michael Massey. I guess that's how he autographs it, because we saw that extra little squiggle right there, and we were like, is that a mistake? Or is that his autograph? Looks like that's his auto. That is for John Samuelson and the Royals. And we'll never be Royals. You can be my Brazilian baby. And we've got, we've got Brian Servin. 31 out of 150, master and servant. But doom, 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 doom. Any Depeche Mode fans out there? Maybe. There's John G and the Rockies. All right, Steve. Yeah, no worries. Good to see you at the National. Good that you and Britt have gone back home safe and sound. Until next time.
Um, we'll see in the chat, but in, until next time we see each other in person. There's Francisco Alvarez. Prism. Howard. All right, next box. 7.30 meeting. That's brutal, by the way. Who's calling 7.30 meetings? That's rough. Someone called it a 7.30 breakfast meeting around these parts. I'd laugh in their faces. <laughs> like, what? You're joking. My schedule, essentially, ladies and gentlemen, is that of a professional ball player, right? When, when do when these guys start work? Seven, seven to 10, right? And then plus the five hours before that, you know, is just getting prepared for the game, warming up, getting right, all that sort of stuff. You think they're taking, you think, you think Garrett Cole's taking 7.30 a.m. meetings after a start? Not taking breakfast meetings. If Hal is like, hey, we, I need to talk to you. Cashman's like, I need to talk to you. 7.30 breakfast meeting. Night after a start. Gary Cole would be like, Pfft. you mean 7.30 p.m., right? All right, there's Shohei Otani, another angel for Chris Butler. And they're bringing that buyback program back, Chris, so. Odds on favorite to be the AL MVP. Sometimes these are a number, but the numbers will be hidden in the that, that cloud right there, the multicolored cloud. And we got Cal Stevenson. Cal on me, Cal Steve, Cal on me. Winwood, right? Maybe, no, maybe not one yet. Guess who Ruiz? Sosa to 399 for the White Sox. Stephen Carney, Southsiders. And then we got Ken Waldachip to 499. I think he had the start against my Dodgers last night. Dodgers four home run tonight. Mookie Betts with a 436 foot home run, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, if Ronald Acuna Jr. didn't exist, I feel like it'd be Mookie Betts as a favorite for the MVP.
And we got another A, Connor Capel, Adam Copperman, with the Waldachuk, with the Capel, among others, the Estuary Ruiz photo negative printer. How about the Gambler? Yeah, what about Jameson Williams? You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. You never can Oh, for Ken Waldachip? Alright, I like that. How hard do you think it's for a team? Seven years on to get a wild card spot. Uh, the games aren't usually the issue. It's the uh, the hard part is how many teams are ahead of them. That's usually more of the difficult part. Leapfrogging a number of teams. If it was like a wild card spot and then a team that was seven games back. Who knows? Anything can happen, right? But if you're seven games back and there's like three or four other teams in between you, that that's that's where it gets difficult. You know, so that's where it's harder to come back if there's no, uh, multiple teams you have to leapfrog. Which most likely in a wild card race there is. So, yeah, very very difficult. You have a better chance at being. You have a better chance at seven games back if you're in second place in the division, right? You have a better chance, I think, at winning a division before you leapfrog a bunch of other teams for a wild card spot. Yeah, four teams are kind of a lot. Because it's just, I mean, just, it's just so much variance. Because then it's just like, all right, if this, this team loses, this team wins, this team loses, then and this team wins, where's my team? All right, all these teams won today, my team lost today. Now, what does that mean now? You know? Okay, so the, the, there, there just becomes a lot more variance, which makes, makes it a lot more difficult. And we got Riley Green, nice, 72 out of 299. Rookie Purple Speckle Autograph, Detroit Larry. And the Tigres. Nice cat team mojo here. Is there only one cat team in the uh, in Major League Baseball? We got O'Neill Cruz to 399. Cruising. Cruising. And there's Gunnar Henderson, rookie refractor card for Sean Maddock. And another athletic, Connor Capel. For the A's, for Adam, and the Athletics. Yeah, Michael, let's see if we can find some rays before this box is out. All right, here's a Corbin Carroll and a Riley Green Prism parallel.
We got a Louis Varlin, 22 out of 150. Blue refractor autograph for the twin. That's going to be for Ben and the twins. Who, Wander? Is that what you're asking, Carl? Is Wander the real deal? I think so. I think he looked like the real deal last year, but I think like injuries got in the way, which might be something that he has to kind of work through. I don't know if that's a conditioning thing or if that's just bad luck or whatever, but he's got a 4-6 war. He's hitting 267, 13 home runs. He's got 49 RBIs. He's got... 29 stolen bases. He'll probably have a 2020 season this year. You know, I think does he have over a thousand OPS? No, his OPS is 777, which is really good. And that's only at 22 years old. All star this year, so he's popular with the fans. That's good for the hobby. 23 doubles, five triples. He's got some extra bases there. I think he's pretty good with the glove too, right? There's Andres Jimenez, photo negative for Cleveland. This is for you, Ryan Boone. This guy. And right here behind Trout is, is Bryce Harper. Authentic game use memorabilia. Nice, that's gonna be for, for Zachary Snell and the fight in the fills. At 7 out of 25. Nice. Austin Riley. There's Goldie. Ruiz. Riley Green. Freeman. Bryce Harper. And a Mike Trout refractor to close things out. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2023 Top Chrome Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number 14. Another pick your team available in the store right now. Quick little hit recap. I was out of five, two out of five. Little train whistle, Corbin Carroll Prism. Yusniel Diaz, Yacuna Jr. Prism, the Rushman autograph, Josh Young. So a lot of nice stuff. The photo negative, Corbin Carroll. Another relic, Cedric Mullins. A lot of fun stuff in this break, ladies and gentlemen. Get, get into uh, more of this on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.